Hello everyone, welcome in this video series about building a two-dimensional game based on timer and picture boxes in C Sharp. So last week we see how you could make the player be able to shoot as you can see here. But today we're going to add some sound effect as you are hearing here. So let's get started. The first step you need to do now is to add references for major player. So just go ahead and click right. So just go ahead on your solution explorer then click right on references, add references and then you go to come. And there you can just simply write media and on media you have to choose windows media player. So in my case you are seeing two here but it doesn't matter if you also have to you can choose whatever you want it it's won't be a problem. So in my case, I have already chosen it. So you just have to choose it and click OK and then everything will be done. If you have done it well, then you have this appears on your references. The next step is to add it into your code. Now all we need is to create our media. So here I have created two media. So the background media and the shoot effect media. So the background media is the sound that's playing all the time when we are playing. And the shoot media is when the player is shooting. And now we move a step further and then we create object for those media. After creating those media, we just simply load our sounds. So in the last video, I have shown to you where I've saved all my assets in the debug folder, as you can see here. So you can save it wherever you want. But in my case, I choose to save them in the debug folder. And there you can see this folder songs here inside. I have all asset for songs so that's it that's why i've been reading here and when we move a little bit more forward then we have to set some couple of settings for those media for example the game media should play forever so that means it should be a loop because we want the player have the song as long as he's playing so we also set the volume and uh, as you can see here and that's it hey guys thank you for watching videos on my channel Please think about to subscribe for helping me doing more such of videos. Now we have created and set our object. All we need is to let them play. So the first one, that means the background media, will simply be played in the form load. So after setting all those things, all those parameters, you just have to game control and play. Then you will have it start. So we want it to start when the game when the game starts. So that's it. And if you remember, in the previous video, we have been seeing how we could make the player be able to shoot. And for that, we use a timer. So actually, move munition timer. This was a 20 millisecond interval timer. That means each 20 millisecond, our player was able to shoot. So and actually, we know that when our player shoot, then this is actually the great time for making our sound effect. That's why we are simply going to add our shoot media in the timer that means each 20 millisecond the timer will play this sound and we will have a continuous effect of our player being able to shoot so let's try it out so i i hope you hear everything so that's nice we have it hey guys that's all for now Thank you for watching. In the next video, we will aid enemies and make them move. So just click on the link here on the right corner of your screen. See you there.